Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you, isn't it? Well, we're getting close to the end of the year, and I just wanted to introduce myself in case you did not know who I am. My name is Lisa Bubari. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, and approximately 14 years ago, I got into the line of hypnotherapy after healing myself through hypnosis. That in itself is a story of its own. But for today, I want to talk about uh, releasing pain and some simple, easy ways. Oh my God, hello, Laura. Blessings to you for being on live. My dearest, you are, ah, this is the most amazing thing to have you with me on this session since you are in bed and I hope this session will help ease your pain and everyone else listening to this session. Today is about controlling pain or maybe even easing pain. It can be physical pain or even emotional pain. But what is pain in life? Pain is a way that our body knocks uh, on our body and gives us a, a, a tap to let us know there is something missing or there is something off in our body that needs our attention. There is a dis-ease, a misconnection, and a problem that it's asking for us to take care of, and that's why we feel the pain. Some of us go through a heartbreak of breaking up with a relationship with a loved one, a friend, or even a loss, and that gives us pain, causes us pain. But where is that pain? That pain is in our heart. That pain is what we feel as for the loss of it. The pain that I'm here to talk about today is the physical aspect of it, the physical pain that we feel. Yes, the emotional aspect attaches to our heart and our heart feels the pain but it's an emotional pain but the physical pain is when we have a headache like the one I had a few days ago after banging my head three times in three different days at the same place and I will share how I healed my head in order for me not to have a bump after an excruciating moment of pain and there is other simple ways that is so natural that we forget. Hello, Vahe. Hello, Medic. Hello, Christopher. What an honor to have you on this session. You know how we control pain? Controlling pain is a mindset. So the moment something happens to us, that we feel the pain, the physical pain, this dis-ease, the first thing that we do is either we scream or we laugh. It's just like that fight or flight. The pain that we feel at that very moment, the impact of it, from the moment that it touches us physically, either from the outside, or something internal when we feel a cramp, a pain in stomach, earache, nose, eyes, and it doesn't matter. It's the sensation that attaches to our nervous system and it's the nervous system that sends the information to the brain and it's from the brain that the information comes and then we feel. So from the moment we feel, everything is instantaneous. From the moment we feel, we have a reaction. 
just like the fight and flight, the reaction can be ouch, the reaction can be oof, the reaction can be holding, and every other way that you take care of it, your pain. Everyone deals with pain in a different way. Some say, I have absolutely no tolerance for pain, and others have a high threshold of pain. I consider myself having a high threshold of pain because I have trained myself in that. How did I train myself? Day in, day out. Every time that I had a pain, I dealt with it by becoming one with the pain. That is why I can have root canal with absolutely no anesthetic. It's not a big deal. So many people used to do it in the past. But I choose not to have anesthetic. So in order for me to bypass the pain for doing root canals, I go into that hypnotic state, meditate, starts from meditation, focused attention, and then become very focused on the gum, on that one part that the tooth is going to be worked on. And all around the tooth, I become so focused. And the intention is from the mind, because I know how to numb the gums, I numb the gums. Some have to work on it for a long time. For me, it takes three minutes. And I can also train and teach others to do the self-hypnosis so you can do the same thing. That is why hypnosis is so effective. The same way is doing the hip replacements, knee surgeries, C-sections. Yes, these are all done with absolutely no anesthetics. Not in America, but in Europe and other countries. The reason for that is because it's a natural state of numbing yourself. So when we have a cut, or something and instead of going into a panic the moment that happens you hold your hand on it your own healing hand and you tourniquet it and ask your body to begin the healing by focusing on it you visualize the healing and send the healing intention to it at the end of this session I will give you techniques even do a very short hypnotic state of hypnosis, a guided visualization. So if there is any pain that you are feeling at this very day, you can, with my guidance, release and overcome the pain. And it doesn't matter if it is your liver, perhaps there is anger, if it is your hand, if there is pain in there that travels, it's probably something that you cannot handle because, believe it or not, there is a connection of the mind and of the body. So when the body has a pain, there is a nerve and an emotional connection to that part of the body. When I work with my clients, it's not only releasing and overcoming and having you control pain. But first and foremost is understanding where your pain is. When did it start? How long have you had it? Or perhaps, how long have you been keeping that pain? Why did it come? Because things you know for a fact do not happen to us, but for us. Now, You know how some women say, my husband has no tolerance for pain, and they moan and groan all the time, and they're such a baby during that? Well, guess what? It's not that they are such a baby, because we're all a baby. Some of us have learned not to talk about what we feel or tolerate the pain 
in order for us not to cause discomfort for someone else. But when we are groaning and moaning, we go into our primitive moment like a child. A child that when they are in pain or when they need food or when they need comfort and they need to be cuddled, when they start crying, what's the instinctive thing that a mother does? They hold on to the child and they hold on. They put the child over here and they go what? Mm. And that moan sound, the humming sound, is so healing. It can heal so much discomfort and pain. So when we are in pain and we go, um, ah, ah, Guess what that happens? That in itself sends vibrations to all the nervous system. And that in itself sends trickles of vibration to all the nerve endings. That if there is a pain at the end of a certain part of your body, that has a discomfort or disease, that um or hum, whatever it is, just like a child being comforted, it relaxes, it numbs, it eases the pain. It sends you to that primitive time of who you are to the little girl, to the little boy, being comforted. So when we hum, either loud or very gently, we are easing our own pain. That's it. See, that is one of the unique ways, a natural way of numbing, healing, loving your body, loving yourself, and it's in a way saying to your body, I'm here. Relax. I'm with you. I'll take care of you. And we begin the humming. That's a part of meditation. That is when we pray. That's when we do the incantations, incantations over and over, over and over we send ourselves into that meditative state. So that is why we say, when you are in pain, you close your eyes and visualize becoming one with the pain, just like the flame of a candle. When you visualize that candle, it's not that it's burning, but the essence of the light lights up and heals. Because a candle, a light, the ray of the sun, anything that warms, it's warming and healing the pain, easing the pain, either emotional, but more importantly, the physical. Hello, Mary Lou. I am happy to see you as well. And thank you. So as we go through that healing from the inside, we send the vibrations to the point of where we need to heal. Either a pain in the finger, easing the pain in our head, because what is headache? It is feeling overwhelmed and throbbing sensations around our temple. And when you close your eyes and breathe easily and gently, you breathe through that, and as you breathe, you realize that you can begin the healing sensation and send that vibration of um, um, and as you hum very gently, louder and a little bit louder, 
the throbbing sensation, the humming sensation. You're overpowered. You become one. And that is how we ease pain. That is how we become one with the pain. And pain has no more power over the body, over us. You have the power within you. So every single day, as you practice becoming one and going through the pain, you realize that you can send that vibration of numbing, healing, loving, gently and easily to the pain. Every part of our body is in direct correlation of an emotional impact. I had a client who came to me with so much pain in her body. First and foremost, she was going through cancer. And since I do lymphatic massages, yes, medical massages, lymphatic massages, working with cancer patients. It was the emotional aspect of going through cancer and then the physical part of the radiation and everything. So as I was doing the lymphatic massage, I asked permission to do some guided visualization for her to begin the healing and loving her body. It was during that time that she had tears well up and coming through, which we became one asking, what are the emotions that are coming to surface? And you know, one of the things that she shared was that for the longest time, as she was going through the cancer and the radiation, her husband had not touched her. And she felt a, a distance, that he was keeping the distance from her. And that hurt her more than what she was going through. And it's not so much of all the pain and the worries about if she was going to make through that or not, but at how two lovers, two loved ones, after so many years, she felt at the distance. After she talked about it and eased it after the massage, I asked if she had communicated with her husband how she felt. And she said no, because she felt that he does not want to know about her feelings. Well, that night she went home and after talking to her husband, you know what it was? He felt uncomfortable talking about her because he did not want to burden her with what he was going through, not knowing how to help her, how to ease her pain, not knowing that if he wanted to come close to her, he would, she would think that it's intimacy that he wanted. But all he wanted to do is to hold on to her because he himself didn't know how to deal with the pain and the ease. You see, it's not only physical pain, but there is so much of the mental and emotional pain we go through. Not only ourselves, but our loved ones. So it is communicating how you feel and how your loved ones feel. That in itself is the most healing part of your own recovery. You're not adding more pain to your loved one, but when they feel that they can help you through and help ease your pain, 
is the most beneficial gift you give that both of you can go through it together even sitting next to one another holding hand you know what that hand is touch that touch the end of each and every one of our fingers that's why massage is so impactful that's why when someone is going through massage it's an honor to massage someone's body when we go through all these places that by golly I'm not dissing any massage therapist or massage place because they're all there to help release and ease stress and discomfort but I want you to know when you are getting a massage from someone first and foremost I believe it's an honor for me to massage someone because when I touch your body your body is sacred if I have anything that it's happening before I touch your body I must leave all that there because the vibration of what I am feeling or healing must be away from sending it to you and giving it to your body it's not for me to send it to your body so because touch the nervous also impacts your skin your muscles and your body so it is with love and honor that I must touch your body here is another way to heal and ease your body yourself you hug even very gently massaging your tummy it is the circle of life when you do that you're also easing the circle of the vibration around circling your life factor easing the digestive factor of saying I am worthy of living and the last thing wouldn't it be great if you have a pet you know when you stroke a pet you are sending and releasing through your stroke or when they are next to you that stroke is meditative that stroking is healing it eases your pain and sends the vibration of you are there for me and it's so good because massage stroking loving humming everything you do when you do it with the set of intention of loving and healing you become your own hypnotherapist easing your own pain doing your own self-hypnotic suggestions when you do it with intention incantations humming loving vibrating touching that eases your own pain become one with it go through with it and as you are listening to the sound of my voice the sound of the gurgling inside your body in your tummy as you realize I change the tone of my voice that my voice becomes that sensation of vibration vibrating relaxing healing easing this very moment not only it can heal because it is sent with love it is sent with the intention of asking God's light the universe and at this very moment become aware of the words you choose and you choose the words that every day 
in every way. I feel better. I am healing. I thank my body for easing my pain. My pain is dissipating. I send love. I ask for my body to begin its healing. I appreciate my body. I appreciate every organ, every nerve, every cell, and I ask for it to begin to recoup it, to recoup, reconnect, rejuvenate. And as you become one with every part of who you are, know the power in your words, in your thoughts, in your brain, because every single word becomes a part of your thought and everything that you think becomes the part of a message. And I want you to know something. There are no deep-rooted pain. It became deep-rooted because you continued repeating that same thing, negative, over and over. Or you brought it to surface and you made a reality of it to the point that now you consider it deep-rooted. So today you can peel away that part of the root, peel away that part of the grass, that part of the pain that you no longer choose to keep it. Yeah, you can yank it out. Pull all the roots because if the roots have damaged that property, which is your body, that property which is any part of who you are, it's time to not only take that weed out, take peel away all that root so that you can replant, replant the loving sensation, the loving words, and the loving feeling into your body. And as you ease pain, if you need assistance, I am here for you. I can teach you how to do your own self-hypnosis, or you can easily get one of my CDs. That's right. It says Release Pain and Heal. On my website, download it and listen to it every day in every way until you realize that you can do this on your own. If I can do it, if I can ease my pain of such excruciating headache by putting my hand on top of my head and close my, uh, my eyes and ask from God's light the energy and healing to come into my hands and from my hands the vibration that comes through to every nerve and every muscle every part of my scalp and from all the nerves let it vibrate to every essence from every single hair to my scalp as if I am massaging my scalp and it goes through all the way down to my temple and from my temple all the way around my eyes and back to the back of my neck and then down to my neck and I send light and healing.
And that is exactly how it happened. That in 24 hours, not only the throbbing went away, that I could even cool and feel cold ice pack on my head and the throbbing goes away and absolutely no bump. Healing starts within. Heal within. It would be my honor to help you. How I healed myself. I can ease your pain and your loved ones. With that, if this session was helpful to you, may you share it and know that loving, appreciating, and accepting yourself is the first step in healing. So it is time in closing to know that there is only one person that has power over you, and that is you. No doctor is God, but we are all a part of it. So evoke what was. Embrace what is the reality. Embrace the pain. And you can evolve to what will be healing and transforming. Until next session, I bid you, I bid you goodbye. This is Lisa from Heal Within.